The Museum of Science and Industry is celebrating 50 years of African American artists at the Black Creativity Exhibit. Our arts correspondent Angel Edo sat down with two featured Chicago artists to learn more about the exhibit's impact, not just during Black History Month, but year round. What started as a way to highlight emerging African American artists has since grown into an annual celebration of Black fine art. This year, the Black Creativity Exhibit at the Museum of Science and Industry is celebrating a big milestone, 50 years. Now there are over 200 pieces of work ranging from digital art to sculptures to paintings, and they all sit right here in the nation's longest running exhibition of African American art. The juried art exhibition features work from artists around the country and here in Chicago, one being based at the Blount Gallery out of the Chicago Defender Building. Meet emerging artist Blake Lenoir. It's his first year in the exhibit. And while being featured here is a breakthrough for his career, Lenoir says he's also grateful for the relationships with other artists this opportunity has helped foster. You get to see the contemporaries around you, you get to see the different types of art movements, you get to be inspired, you get to inspire others in the same way or in a different way. Uh, different connections, like it's all more of a re each one to each one and we can all progress together, so to say so. It's because of the Black Creativity Exhibit that Lenoir was able to connect with established artist Arthur Wright, who was showcasing his work for the fourth year. He says one of his featured pieces, titled The Gift, depicts the same message the exhibit evokes, helping one another. It's uh, basically a uh, collage and uh, paint um, combination. And what it um, is showing, the visual is a, a woman um, it with extended arms holding a globe. Um, and basically, this, um, my expression was trying to depict Someone, again, sharing, someone giving of themselves freely uh, to one another, to the world. Lenoir's piece, Opaque Metropolis, is his own depiction of Bronzeville Boys, originally created by Russell Parks. Despite meeting for the first time during this interview, both agree that this diverse community of artists reminds them that they are not alone in their challenges and also reinforces a career path that might not always be taken seriously. At one point I was very afraid to collaborate because that meant my identity be taken away or having to share that with somebody else. When in truth, I learned, I'm learning so much. Now to me, art is all about relationships. Absolutely. You know, and that's the relationships are what pay it forward for you. Right, right. It's really important for um, uh, students to understand that, and older people as well, that, that you're a scientist, you are a designer, you are an engineer, you are a lawyer, <laughs> you're a doctor because your art heals people. Mm -hmm. You know, you're all these different things, all these different careers wrapped up in one. And, and, you know, and then you get a chance to meet those personalities. Exactly. You can see how your, what you contribute is interchangeable based on that, those different types of relationships with those people. The Black Creativity Exhibit works to bridge that gap between age groups by also featuring a student exhibition with work from more than 100 youth artists. When I asked Wright and Lenoir what they would say to those developing artists unsure of their craft, they had this to say. Realize you don't have to be an artist. You can just have a hobby uh, or, or an interest of doing art, which makes you happy. You know, and that, and that will help you be good at your job. Find your yes and also maintain a childlike disposition about what you do. Find what makes you act childlike, what makes you happy just as you were as a child. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito.